Leishmaniasis, Leishmania. The topic under discussion is about the Leishmaniasis. This topic is going to be discussed in a very simple way. First of all, we'll tell you people what is Leishmaniasis. Then we'll tell you people the cause of Leishmaniasis. After that, we will know about the term vector and the vector of the Leishmaniasis. And then we'll talk about the types of the Leishmaniasis that are actually seen in humans. And then we'll be talking about the life cycle of the Leishmaniasis. And at the end, we'll be discussing the drugs used to treat Leishmaniasis. Anti-Leishmaniasis will be discussed in very simple and easy way. So let's get started from the very first point that is Leishmaniasis. What is Leishmaniasis? In simple words, it is actually the disease caused by a parasite and which is affecting the skin, mucous membrane of the mouth, nose and some visceral organs like your spleen, liver, bone marrow, the very important sites that are going to be affected by this protozoal parasite. Okay, now this is actually Leishmaniasis. In simple words, what is Leishmaniasis? It is actually a disease caused by the protozoal parasite. Simple, okay, and which is affecting your skin, your mucous membrane, your spleen, your liver, and along with that, bone marrow. Done. Now let's come towards the cause. What is the main cause of Leishmaniasis? Very simple. It is a protozoal parasite named as Leishmania. Now because of this Leishmania, the disease is known as Leishmaniasis. Okay, simple. Now let's come towards the vector. What is vector? First of all, let's know the term vector. Vector is simply the biological term used for the vehicle. Now you know what is the function of vehicle? Car. We rent a car for what? If you want to travel from one place to another place so the same is the case here biologically when this parasite wants to move from one place to another place means like if it wants to move from one human to another human so what will it do now very simple it will rent a car that is the sand fly now this leishmania will sit in the sand fly then this sand fly will help in the transport of this parasite leishmania so like this this parasite will be moved from one human to another human i mean of what i mean of the sand fly now this sand fly is a car okay that is being used by the leishmanial parasite so now this car is biologically named as vector very simple so vector is the sand fly now let's come towards the next point the types now as i mentioned earlier in the beginning that uh, it is affecting skin mucous membrane spleen liver and bone marrow now these all are the sites and along with that they are placed in three different categories and they are then named as three different types of the leishmaniasis number one affecting the skin is named as cutaneous leishmaniasis affecting the mucous membrane is named as mucocutaneous leishmaniasis and affecting the liver spleen bone marrow that is actually placed in this category known as visceral leishmaniasis okay so these are actually all the three types of the leishmaniasis now let us come towards the life cycle of the leishmaniasis one can also call this as the life cycle of the leishmanial parasite now this leishmanial parasite when it sits in this car in the sand fly this will be named as a pro mastigot now what is pro mastigot simple this type of structure of the leishmania is named as pro mastigot this flat structure along with the flagellum is actually known as pro mastigot now this pro mastigot will be transferred from one human to another human by means of this sand fly now first of all this pro mastigot which is actually the leishmanial parasite having the flagellum now this is transferred by means of this sand fly from one human to another human now guess what this has taken this leishmanial parasite pro mastigot from one human now this is going to inject this leishmanial parasite in another human now as it injects this promastigot leishmanial parasite into this human this will enter the blood now here it will be named as promastigot and as it reaches the macrophages means if the macrophages find these promastigots they will be endocytosed phagocytosis will be done okay then what will happen then these will convert into another shape named as a mastigot now what is the difference between the promastigot and a mastigots very simple promastigots were having the flat structure and flagellum whereas the a mastigots won't be having the flagellum simple word flagellum having the round or oval shaped structure that is named as a mastigots now these a mastigots will start division binary fusion will be done into two okay now this binary fusion will increase up to a limit when they are the phagocytes will burst and then they will be freely available in the blood now if this sand fly bites this person again what will happen then this will take this a mastigots from the blood 
and then these MS2 gots will come back in the gut of the sand flies, where these AMS2 gots will be converted back into the ProMS2 gots. Now, then again, these ProMS2 gots will be available to be injected into another human. So, I guess the life cycle continues. Here is uh, a small representation like the ProMS2 gots will be converted into AMS2 gots in humans, then these AMS2 gots will be taken back by the another sand fly. Then, in those sand flies, these AMS2 gots will be converted into ProMS2 gots. Then, those ProMS2 gots will be available again to be injected into another humans. Then, again, those ProMS2 gots will be converted into AMS2 gots. So, I guess their life life cycle continues. So this is all about the life cycle. Now let's move towards the next point that is the drugs used to treat leishmaniasis or one can say that anti-leishmaniasis the term okay for these drugs. So one can also call this as like uh, the pharmacology for the leishmaniasis. So now let's come towards the pharmacology side the drug side or anti-leishmaniasis. So now what are the anti-leishmaniasis? Very simple we have certain drugs like antimonials, steboglutamate and like dehydroemethine. Now these are the drugs used to treat the cutaneous infection, cutaneous leishmaniasis. So now how they will act now? Very simple. Antimonials like steboglutamate are actually responsible to destroy the membrane of leishmanial parasite, whereas the dehydroemethine is actually responsible to destroy the proteins of leishmanial parasite, membrane and protein. Okay. Then we have mucocutaneous. Here we have the drug antimonials. Now this is the point to be remembered. Like antimonials are actually placed in all the three types. Antimonials in the mucocutaneous Cutaneous antimonials are available in the visceral, whereas the same antimonials are available in the cutaneous. Okay, now these all are actually going to do what to destroy the membrane of, of the leishmanial parasite. Then we have the next one is amphotericin B. Now, this we studied in the antifungals, they're again responsible to destroy the membrane. Then we have visceral. So these two were used for what? For mucocutaneous leishmaniasis. And here we have for visceral leishmaniasis. Remember, visceral leishmaniasis is also named as Kala Azar. And the drugs used to treat this Kala Azar are pantamidine and antimonials. Now this pantamidine is responsible to destroy the DNA, whereas the antimonials, you got the concept, is responsible to destroy the membrane of the leishmanial parasite. Now let's have a short review of all these drugs discussed in their mechanism of actions. Regarding uh, the cutaneous, mucocutaneous and visceral, we have antimonials in all, which are all actually responsible to destroy the membrane of the leishmanial parasite. Whereas pentamidine is responsible for inhibiting DNA synthesis. So it is destroying the DNA. And here we have amphotericin B again for the membrane. And here dehydroemethine is responsible to destroy the protein. And antimonials, you got the concept, is responsible to destroy destroy the membrane membrane protein membrane dna and membrane okay now these are all the drugs their side of actions and their mechanism of action hope you got if still you have a confusion drop in the comment box